Hello Cancer, welcome to your monthly reading. This reading is for July 2018 and it is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Cancer. If you have any personal questions then you will need a personal reading and you can visit my website katytarot.com and book your personal reading with me there. The cards that I've pulled for you Cancer this month are the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Wands and the King of Pentacles. These cards are the general energies for your month. I am also going to be pulling cards for your career, your work life, and also for your relationship with others, whether it be intimate or platonic. So let's take a look at these general energies to begin with. So the Seven of Swords energy cancer, I am feeling that some of you are picking something up that you have laid to rest previously. So it could be... Um, something I feel that may have been important to you for a while or it may have caught your interest for a while and you've laid it to rest or it hasn't been the right time for you to move forward in this area of your life and this could be in your work life and maybe in a relationship perhaps an element of a relationship but whatever it is for you personally cancer it feels like you are moving forward you're kind of doing it a bit secretly though so perhaps you're looking to move into something new with the Ace of Wands, into a new job, into a new um, situation and you're doing it on the down low because it might be necessary to do that. You know, I'm getting a sense that you have a strong willpower, a strong desire to get this done or to get this started. You know, the Ace of Wands often indicates that it is just the start of something. It's not developed yet. It may even just be the idea or the spark of an idea for you to leave a situation or for you to take and pick up something that you previously put down to rest. There is um, a feeling here for some of you, you may be taking something from other people. So you may be, uh, say for an example, if you're going for a job, you know, you go for the interview and you get the job, you know, you're taking something away from another person. I feel that that may be the case, especially or a promotion perhaps, um, or a movement sideways in a company for some of you with the Ace of Wands energy. I'm feeling that very strongly. Some of you are going to be successful in achieving what you want career wise this month. And of course that ties into income and finances if you're looking to improve or build or whatever it is uh, to do with your finances or purchase something. I do feel that may be the case for some of you because we have the King of Pentacles energy here. So uh, he represents stability. And so if you are looking at doing something major in your material life, whether it's purchasing something or moving along in your career, um, earning more money, income, that sort of thing, then it looks like you'll be um, starting to do that or at least planning to do that. You know, the swords can often indicate that it is in the mind. It hasn't become manifest yet. And like I said, the Ace of Wands can indicate that it's something that's just started um, conceptually as well. So uh, some of you may be actively going out there and doing something because I do see it takes willpower. You know, it's come, you may have been coming out of a situation that no longer served you. And I'm seeing that with the hand, like moving forward and, um, and you really grabbing hold of this opportunity. Um, so I see good things for you this month coming through the King of Pentacles energy. You know, there may be an earth sign that is in the picture for you this month. Cancer, um, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. This may also be an element of your chart. But in terms of you embodying the energy of the King of Pentacles, um, this really speaks to you making a grounded decision perhaps to do something or uh, you going into business you know um, and being very successful with what you're doing this month um, there is a feeling here of another person perhaps you know you're moving toward a new start with a with a person with a company if it's a job thing or uh, maybe a group maybe a um, and maybe a club of some kind, you know, or you yourself may be starting to create something like that for yourself. So we've got a lot of different energies coming in, but overall the energy is quite good. Let's have a look at your career, your work life energy this month, Cancer. Let's 
Two of Swords. The Eight of Cups. And Judgment. So we do have a decision. Some of you, this is a major decision. It's not something that you're going to take lightly. And judgment often means that there is um, a choice or a decision you're going to make, make. And once you make it, you can't go back on this decision. You know, it's a one-way ticket. So um, I feel that uh, if that is the case for you, whatever it is that you've learned or accumulated up to this point, you're going to be taking forward with you. But it does feel like it's a new day. It feels like it's a, there's a horizon. The Spirit is showing me the sun coming up. So I, I get a sense this is a very positive thing for you. Even if in the interim it does seem to be uh, perhaps emotionally taxing or um, there may be some unsettled energy there about exactly what path you're going to go down with the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords energy on top of the Seven of Swords energy can indicate that um, you are, you know, you are thinking about or, you know, you know that you have a choice to make, but you're in two minds about it. And it's important to tap into your intuition and um, really acknowledge what's going on there, not just mentally to try and come to a decision about something. Because I see that there are different paths that you can take in regard to this matter. Um, and this is career, this is work, this is uh, what something you're really passionate about so there may be a crossroads that you're at the eight of cups indicates that you will be moving away from a situation emotionally you know you've gotten to a point where you know that it's time to move on and it may not necessarily be um, um, you're leaving a bad or negative situation for some it's going to be where you know it's just the progression it's just something that was stable is no longer serving you or it just doesn't um, feel right for you you know the next step is on the horizon for you so you're going to be taking that leap and going away and um, perhaps thinking about it for a while because with the two of swords you know you can get stuck there with that energy so spirit is saying look if you're going to make the move this month it's important to um, uh, decide what it is that you want and then move toward it this month because judgment means that that decision uh, even if it is just the decision that's been made not necessarily manifesting or going out and changing things this month in a material sense or in your everyday life just getting to that settled place is what is important for you this month cancer so let's take a look at your relationship with others the nine of pentacles the chariot And the page of pentacles okay what I'm seeing here with the nine of pentacles is that when it comes to your relationship with other people whether it be an intimate relationship your partner um, or if a friendship or a family member someone in your workplace even a co-worker um, I do get a sense you are comfortable in this relationship it, it is a comfortable relationship you may be looking to move forward though in a way that is self-directed because a chariot does mean you know you do have choices on how to go about this um, spirit just said to me there may be some of you that are keeping your feelings or keeping your um, ideas or your intentions uh, closed off for the moment because you're comfortable but then you're looking to move forward um, in a way this month that may um, it may come as a surprise for someone around you um, because it is very it's very willful and you do have a choice about which which path to go down so um, whatever this is for you personally cancer I do get a sense that you'll be um, able to uh, 
uh, to move forward in a way that is right for you into potentially a new beginning here with the page of pentacles it's a newness um, it could be a new relationship it may be um, that you are progressing forward in 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 a current relationship um, but there is a sense of being comfortable now I'm also getting a sense and, and a message from spirit that you're going to be comfortable in your own skin so this decision or you moving forward in this relationship in a way that's right for you is going to make you feel comfortable in your own skin in your own actions and and uh, and the follow-on effects of all of this is going to be positive and right for you. And for some of you, it may be a bigger decision because we've got these, uh, this judgment, page of pentacles and the king of pentacles here. So it could be a big change. You may be moving in with someone. You may be changing the dynamic of a relationship in the workplace or with a family member perhaps. But, but whatever this is, and it could be for the longer term as well because the chariot is not just for this month. You know, the chariot is a major arcana. So it has that that longer time period associated with it um, so overall I see some some good changes happening um, changes that are coming from um, a desire to, to move and a desire to um, I sense a, a new energy for you and your life so that's uh, so I feel that's very positive for you cancer so those are the energies that I'm seeing for you this month I hope you all have a great month ahead and I'll talk to you again soon